what's up guys and welcome to new tarot i am your energy and intuitive reader and i'm here to do you versus them for somebody i got two messages one you could have an aries um coming towards you okay if this is not an aries this could be somebody coming towards you that wants you to allow them to take the lead okay the other message was um i was singing the song what i like about you is that you know how to dance <laughs> so somebody could like how you how you dance or there's somebody that like um likes a lot like they just like who you are <laughs> okay it's just i know that song talks about that thing hey, phone whispering in my ear tell me all the things that i want to hear because it's true it's what i like about you so somebody could like that you tell them everything that they want to hear aries okay somebody could like that somebody could like that a lot <laughs> okay all right so i'm gonna do how you're feeling about your person on the top how your person is feeling about you on the bottom um and then i'm gonna clarify and then clarify some more if needed all right if you resonate more with the bottom than the top that's fine just go with what feels right okay all right, Aries and their person spirits, what's going on? Okay, the, wow, you guys are both the same but different. I feel like this is you and this is them. Okay, um, you're the high priestess of air here. So I feel like you, you're trying to find out a lot of information about this person. Like you want to know a lot. You want to know a lot here this person has a high priestess of fire this person could be a fire sign um or an air sign okay um this person you make them hot <laughs> like and i don't mean like in like in an angry way like i feel like this person feels a lot of passion a lot of fire for you okay bottom of the deck is how you both feel individuality here i feel like you both see um you both see what makes you you if that makes sense like you see the things in this person that no one else does and you love that like the special things that like make you know how we all have like quirky things or whatever i feel like you like the quirky things about this person and this person loves the quirky things about you like you guys both love what makes you you if that makes sense <laughs> okay all right let me move you over here so i'm gonna start with you what is this high priestess of air for how Aries feels? Could be an Aquarius. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups. This could be somebody from your past or someone who you have um, good memories with, okay? You have the Star, the Seven of Coins. The Four of Cups, whoo, child, and the King of Swords in reverse with the Eight of Wands in reverse, okay? So you look at this person as your wish. This is your wish here, okay? Um, I feel like you put a lot of time, a lot of energy into the situation here, but something happened that you didn't see coming. And I feel like there was a lot of delays here because somebody wasn't being honest. It could be because somebody wasn't being honest about their past or they weren't being honest about um so we're gonna clarify but some, somebody wasn't being honest here with the king of swords in reverse okay so let's look at them what is this high priestess of fire for aries person bottom of the deck is the page of cups here okay there could be like a um there could be like an insider thing between you and this person like i don't know how to explain it like there's something only that you that you both under like know or understand about the situation between you and them okay i just got that you have the five of swords the eight of pentacles in reverse the seven of swords and the page of wands here okay um so this person here is really in their head here they have a lot of stress a lot a lot of anxiety because there isn't any work being put into the situation right now they feel like you're being sneaky okay and hiding something with the seven of swords and with the page of wands here they do want a new beginning with you they do want like 
to start something new, um, something adventurous, something fun here. They want to reach out here. Their intuition is telling them to reach out. Okay. So let's clarify. I feel like both of you guys are um, high priestess. Okay. Both of you guys are very intuitive. Both of you guys are very intuitive. I feel like, I feel like a lot of times you guys could be thinking the same thing. Okay. Um, what do I want to clarify? What is this four of cups here? You have the queen of wands, the three of wands in reverse, and nine of cups in reverse. Wow. You are enjoying yourself. You're having a great time with this person. And it's like, it's like, what is this three of wands in reverse and the nine of cups in reverse? Like something was going bad. I mean, not bad, but I feel like somebody didn't get what they wanted and i don't feel like it's i don't feel like it's in the relationship i feel like i feel like this is like outside energy with the six of pentacles in reverse it's like something somebody didn't get what they wanted so they couldn't they couldn't give into the situation here so it caused a lot of delays okay but it brought in a lot of stress for you too because this situation happened right what is this king of swords in reverse and the eight of wands in reverse Knight of Wands in reverse, the Five of Cups in reverse, and the Empress. Wow, like you guys could be pregnant, okay? Or you're going, or or you impregnated someone. <laughs> um, bottom of my deck is a Tower. Dang, I feel like um, you feel like this person was um, lying about creating something here. It's like. It's like this person wasn't really, um, it's like they weren't really enjoying what was going on with the Knight of Wands in reverse and they didn't feel bad about it. Why? Hold on. Oh, this person learned a lesson. It could be a Taurus or another Aries here. This person learned a lesson. What is, um, the Knight of Wands in reverse? Okay. They weren't being honest about they they let something go here. This could be a work thing, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a person. I got two people here. They let something go here, but I feel like they weren't open with you as to how deep they felt for this or how deep it went or how deep it was or that they still found this person attractive or that there was still some type of feelings there. Like they they were trying to make it seem like they that they didn't really care about this person, but they did. Okay, I don't feel like they did anything. I mean, take it how it resonates, right? I, I'm not really seeing the devil energy or anything like that. But I feel like they were feeling, they were telling that they don't really care about this person when they actually did. Okay? And that's why the universe came with the tower, the hierophant, and the emperor. The universe came and knocked this down because it was being built off of a faulty foundation. Because this person wasn't being honest with themselves about how they felt. I feel like this person was lying to themselves, therefore they were lying to you. With the king of swords in reverse, that's somebody lying to themselves, right? And it's somebody who is a liar. And this person wasn't being honest with themselves about how they felt about this person. This could be a mother figure. How they felt about a mother figure, I'm not sure. So, um, they never have to come and teach this person a lesson. Okay. This person learned their lesson though with the Hierophant here. All right. Okay. So let's keep going. All right. So let's see your person. Why are they stressing? What is this five of, um, swords here? The tower because of the tower, the five of cups and the empress. What, whatever, because this person wasn't being honest with themselves about how they felt about something and wasn't being honest to you, whatever, whatever repercussions happen because of that, they're stressing out about that here because it could have, it changed their whole life and some for, for a lot of them. <laughs> okay. It was unexpected. It came out of nowhere. They weren't prepared for what was about to happen. Um, you have the wheel of fortune in reverse, but I feel like they don't feel bad about what happened because they know that something was ready to go. I feel like a lot of them are kind of like grateful on the in the on the inside that this happened. Okay, but they are stressing about it. But with the five, they're not gonna be in that energy long. What is this eight of pentacles in reverse? 
the judgment in reverse, the two of pentacles in reverse, and the ace of pentacles with the queen of swords in reverse. But this person doesn't make sense here. They're upset that there isn't any work being put into the situation here, but they're not putting in any work either because they haven't made the important decision to do so. They feel like if they do so and they do offer something, it's going to be too much to handle. So I don't, I'm not understanding what this person is talking about. The queen of swords in reverse, they're not making sense. Not making sense. You know what I'm saying? It takes two to tango. What is the seven of swords here? Four of swords in reverse, the six of wands, and the page of swords in reverse with the queen of cups in reverse. This person feels like you're um, hiding your emotions. Like you're not really coming off how you say you feel here. They feel like you are... Um, really in your head and you're just trying to push like everything is going well and like everything is going good when in reality it's not okay they feel like you are spying on them as well the knight of swords is in reverse seven of pentacles is in reverse they feel like you're going towards something that is not going to be um that is not going to be lucrative for you okay what is this page of wands You have the five of cups in reverse, the eight of swords in reverse, and the five of wands with the six of cups. Wow, both of you got the six of cups now. This could definitely be somebody from your past or someone who you have memories with. This is definitely a soulmate here, okay? Um, <clears throat> I feel like this person is about to come towards you here, and they know that coming towards you is going to cause some type of drama. I got this message one time on Instagram follow me that information is in the description box below i only post on my story though when i do post um when i pull tarot but anyway um this person knows that it's gonna cause some type of drama or chaos here but they don't care they don't care they they want to come towards you because they now know like that they this person misses you and i feel like you miss them too with the six of cups here yeah both miss each other and i feel like um a conversation needs to be had I mean, you're already, you're, this person thinks you're spying. You low-key are because you're digging up information on this person. <laughs> all right, Aries, that's all that I have for you. Could be a Sagittarius. Um, that's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this. And stay positive.